Uh, sales is a science. And I'm going to spend the next 30 minutes showing you how to close more deals like a science. And you will learn a thing or two along the way. Now I'm building a B2B SaaS startup and I teach founders how to sell to pay my bills. So my biggest goal, I'm a manifester. I state goals every 15 years. Um, there are six steps to being able to solve a prospect's problem. Um, first one, you have to be able to clarify the problem. You have to know your customer or your prospect until they become a customer. A prospect is somebody who is interested in buying your product or service. A customer is somebody who has bought your product or service. The more problems you label, the more natural your sale is because you can solve said problems through a product or service. Once you can restate the problem you're solving to get them to the dream vacation, you can give three different pricing offers. The, your goal is to get them to pay more upfront. My point is just to state a perceived value to a client. And I'm not saying you're going to buy it or you're not. And I'll tell you the difference on how this could be sold. But the perceived value of the first offer compared to the second is 6.6 .6 to 1. You can do more to close deals by stacking up bonuses. Like, for example, there's time bonuses, there's performance-based bonuses where, Michael, your concern on I won't pay up front, I'll only pay for a performance bonus, that's covered in a bonus structure and a guarantee structure. Let's get into some other cues here. If they say yes, get the payment. Very simple. Don't oversell. When they say, yeah, I want to get it. Okay, cool. Let's get you it right here and now. And if they get it, then fantastic. The three key obstacles that will stop someone from buying before you ever make an offer. They don't have the money, they're not the decision maker, or you're not solving a problem for them. If somebody says to the same concern of this product or services isn't working, you can go with something called an HII framework. Hypothetical, isolate the problem and then inform you them of how you can solve said problem within the um, product or service itself. So like if they don't trust you, you could say, why do you not trust me? Then you say, then they'll explain exactly why they don't trust you. And restate the total order and make sure that they are happy working with you. Prove them right by reinforcing the decision. You have to record your calls. You will learn very quickly about your customer and your cadence so you can become more effective on the phone when solving people's problems. And there are five audio cues that I have been coaching founders on. One is your rate or how fast you speak. It's not about what you say, it's about how you say it. 93% of all communicated value comes from visual and audio cues, not the words themselves. You have to build a talk track when you have enough reps to be able to formulaically explain how you solve a problem for someone else. Got to make your formula. Questions, cadence, concerns. Those are the part one came out explaining why it's a science in further detail. Part two is coming out about the closer framework in a lot more detail. Um, part three is about the hypothesis or how to know your variables. Part four is going to be about looping itself. Five will be a lot more of the visual and audio cues I coach founders with. Um, part six is how to build and scale a kick-ass sales team while reviewing calls and then puzzle. And then part seven is building your own talk track. So, so I'm doing this for free so I can help founders solve problems.